Hey guys, so I'm here. I got some empties for you. I really like watching empties. So I hope that you enjoy this because I, you know, by the time someone empties out a product, you know that their opinion is their opinion. So, so let's get started. So the first thing I have here, this is Herbal Essence. If you are around my age, you'll know that this came back or came out like in the 90s or something. And this is like the old style bottle. Um, this one is the, what is this one? Shine Collection Brilliance. This one was okay. It The smell was just like I remembered and everything, but it wasn't the best conditioner. I've had better, better ones, so it was just okay. But the scent was really, really nice. Next, it, next is from Clinical Strength from Secret. Um, and this is like my all-time favorite. This is the twisty up one that the, the cream comes out on the top. Um, I wish that the other ones that are in the solid form performed as well as this one, but um, this one is really good. This one is the stress response, um, and um, it definitely holds up all day, all night without having to reapply. These are some wipes from Garnier. Um, I actually don't have too many wipes in here. This might be the only one. This one was really, really good. It dried out towards the very end because I ripped it off wrong and it, I couldn't keep it closed, but um, this is the soothing... It says soothing remover, cleansing towelettes for sensitive skin. I had just gotten it on a deal, so that was that. They were really good and the claws are really, really soft. Next are these different types of the new Garnier Whole Blends. Um, I tried out, I think it's three different kinds. They have the hydrating, this is the repairing. Um, this has, what is this? Honey Treasures is this one. Um, this one is the hydrating in blue. This has um, coconut water and milk. And then we have the um, coconut oil and cocoa butter. All of them are really nice. One, usually when I get samples like this, I usually complain that the conditioner is never enough. Um, and in this case, the conditioner was way more than enough. Um, it conditioned my hair really nicely. I really, really, really like this shampoo and conditioner a lot. Um, and from saying that it works from a sample, what? It works. So all of them worked really well. They all performed very well on my hair and they all conditioned really excellent. So two thumbs up for those. And I did get these through CrowdTap to do, um, you know, trying them out and giving them away and stuff like that. So next is from Nexus. I've had this forever in my shower. I just finally used it up. Um, this is the Ultimate Moisture um, Shampoo. I did get this from Publix. They had like some kind of deal where you can get them with coupons. It ended up being like $2. So I got a whole bunch of these and I think this might be the last one. I might have one more or something like that. But um, Nexus brand shampoos usually are really good. I thought it was really good. Um, it's a good shampoo. Next is a, what is this? A repairing conditioner from Beaver Professional. This is the hydro version. I think I got this in a birch box. It was just okay. It wasn't the best. It was an it was an okay conditioner. I think the Garnier Whole Blends are much better, to be honest. Um, this is the L'Oreal Paris uh, per Preference Mousse Absolute, and this particular conditioner was okay. It came from a color. Um, it actually came from this one here. This is the color that I like to use on my hair. This is the number five five six. This is the Superior Preference Mousse Absolute. It colors my grays. It does a really nice job. It comes in um, like a container like this and there's like the color on one side and something else, the mixture on the other side and you just press it as you need it. So if you don't have long hair, you can use this for multiple doses. Um, but for me, I just use it one time, good deal. But the color, I really like it. It covers up everything really nice. And then I also have two more. These are to touch up my roots. These are in the color 5R, medium ash burn, reddish brown. And um, they're okay. I mean, I like that you can use um, half of it or all of it if you want to. It comes with like a little tray inside. Um, lately, I realized that I have a lot more gray than I thought I had and I have to use the whole tray on my head. So there goes that. I used to use just half a tray once and half a tray another use. Next is, this is a sample that I got from doing um, like a home trial on skincare. Um, this is through the pink panel. It actually actually was a murate, murate, no, murad sample. 
So um, it came with a whole line. Um, I'm only finished with the creamed cleanser. It was a really nice cleanser, um, but it took forever to use. So I'm glad it's gone. This, I wonder if I have another one in here now. Um, this is the L'Oreal Pro Mat. I use it every single day. I have three more. <laughs> I got one in the swap and I bought two more. So um, I love this. It lasts all day. I usually mix it with something else, anything else. It doesn't matter what I mix it with, but I, this is my base. So this is another clinical strength. This is the waterproof stre stress sweat. Again, this is the twist up one with the cream. Um, it does really well. You don't have to reply throughout the day. Um, it's excellent. Ooh, next, this is from Kerastase, Kerastase, whatever you want to call it, the resistance. This is the final step. I think I had the other one. I put it in another video, but um, this is the shampoo and right shampoo. This is supposed to be the first step that you use. Um, I really like this a lot, but it's super expensive. I don't think that I'll go out of my way to purchase this, but it is really good. I really liked it a lot. The whole um, two step was excellent. Then I have a few of these that I did buy from Sarah Vital um, on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I got it for like $30 cheaper than what it normally is. You take four capsules a day and it's supposed to make you feel good and feel happy and just give you an overall good feeling. Um, and that's the main reason. Um, it did have supposedly weight loss benefits, but, um, but it's really hard to take four capsules every morning. So I'm kind of bummed about that and I'm actually taking something else right now. So I'm, and I'm not supposed to take anything else with it for whatever personal reasons. So I really can't attest to if this makes you feel whatever, cause it's supposed to take at least a month for you to feel any kind of changes. So I didn't take it for the whole month. I actually still have the box there. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, next is from Pixie. This is the flawless and poreless. I believe I got this in an Ipsy bag a way long time ago and um, I just finally used it up. It was good. It's comparable to, almost comparable, not comparable to the um, Benefit Professional. It's like that kind of consistency. It's not exactly, but it's similar. Um, next is a conditioner from Clairol Natural Instincts. I don't know when I used that, but it was in my shower and I finally used it up and it was it was okay. It's not, a, not the best one like, um, the, uh, not this version, but the other one from L'Oreal is really good. Next is a body wash. Got my hair all over it. This is the CVS version, I believe. This is in Romance. It was just a body wash. It was meh. Mediocre. Oh, I got a couple hair oils here. Um, this one, Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco Argan Oil Treatment was really good. This is actually like the first thing that I had actually requested from a company to do a review and they said yes. <laughs> this was such a long time ago. It took me forever to use just because I have so many products, um, but it was really good. And I like that it has like a little pump that you can just squeeze the oil into your hand. Um, and it smelled nice and I'll miss you. Mark Anthony, it was good. This hair oil, I actually won this in a giveaway. I had this hair oil and um, it was a three or five piece curling wand. Um, and I won it in, a, in an Instagram giveaway. So um, that was the first time I started using Amika hair products. Oh my gosh, everything from Amika smells amazing. This was an amazing hair oil. I mean, look at that packaging, isn't that cute? It's super cute. So this did amazing things. It says Sea Buckthorn Berry um, Heat Defense Serum. This was an amazing, amazing oil. I used it every single day and I'm really so sad that it's gone. Awesome. Highly recommend it. The scent is amazing. Next is this Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. This is like the one that you put in your, when you're in the shower, you put it on. Um, it did a decent job. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. I just figured you could put lotion on in the shower if you wanted to, because isn't that what this is? Just regular lotion, you're putting it on in the shower versus waiting till you get out, whatever. So, but it smelled nice and it was good. This was a sample that um, Facebook, there was something on Facebook and they were offering. This is called OC8 Professional Mattifying Gel. It says eight hours matte finish, even skin tone. This actually worked really, really well. And I'm actually thinking about looking into possibly purchasing it. Um, I know the information that came along with it said that they used this on some kind of dance show on TV and blah, 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 or something like that. I don't know. 
or um, anyway but I thought it was really good at keeping my skin matte all day I thought it was an excellent face primer next is this sample of Estee Lauder this is a face cream and I got this I believe in a Walmart beauty box I thought it did a really good job it wasn't overly oily or anything like that and um, it performed really re well I liked it I know these are really expensive if you, if you want to buy them so I don't plan on purchasing it but it was really good and I'd be happy to get another sample of it again if it came in another beauty box next is this age rewind um, dark spot eraser it kind of died on me I tried to use it and I hadn't used it in a long time and it just didn't work so I had I, to honestly I used to use it all the time um, but it did crease on me so I quit using it so then I thought that I would go back to it to see if maybe the creasing didn't happen anymore and it just I couldn't get it to work so I just kind of um, got rid of it the little sponge was dead last thing in here this is from Olay total effects tone correcting moisturizer with sunscreen I remember when I got this through um, oh, I can't remember I think it's um, clout yes I got this through clout and I got this because Olay had changed up the name to CC cream and this says Olay total effects seven in one um, so it's exactly as the Olay CC cream but they just changed the name so they started giving these away um, and I said oh let me go ahead and try to use it and I put it on my face like two weeks ago and no joke my eyes swelled up and I was like oh no we are not playing that game I have had allergic reactions to face creams before and I was like I'm so sorry you're full and you're brand new but I can't use you so anyway so it's going in the trash so that is my empties I hope that um, those quick reviews were helpful I tried to go as fast as possible because I had a lot of stuff and um, let me know what you think and if you have one let me know that you got one too so I can go check it out thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in another video bye